Hey, what's going on guys? Hey, I was want to do a real quick training tutorial on phones this morning, if you will. So, upon my arrival, um, when I open up this NID, the, all of these wires were kind of in here like this. So, you have this color wire here, which is a, a brown wire with a red and green, a black and a yellow. And then you have all of these, which looks like the regular house wires. Then you had this Cat5 here. And then you had this wire, which I don't know what this is. So, I do know that this is my modem wire. This is the line, the Cat5 that goes to the modem. So this goes to the MTA. This is bringing my dial tone out to the NID. And the dial tone is only going to be on the blue and the white and blue. Inside at the jack at the MTA, the white and the orange and white is not even hooked up. So the only thing that the dial tone is on coming from the MTA is this line here. So these guys here is not even going to be used for anything. If there was a phone in there, then yes, they would be used and they would be put back into the loop with the rest of the house phones. So being that there's not a phone in there these guys is not even going to be used the only thing that's going to be used is the dial tone here that is going to be connected to the security and i'll show you that in just a second all right so we're back so i determined that this line here is not the security line i thought it was but it's not this is not the security line so this guy here this line here is the security wire okay so we have the dial tone coming from the MTA on the the blue and the white and blue, the dial tone. It connects to the security. The blue goes to the red, the white and blue goes to this blue. If this was green, the white and blue would go to green. But this is actually blue. So they're using uh, the red, the blue, the yellow, and the black. So if I put my butt set on these guys here, I'll have dial tone. But also, if I put my butt set on these guys here, the yellow and the black I'll have dial tone because what it does is it feeds the dial tone from the MTA to the red and the blue it goes to an RJ block in the security panel it cycles it and it comes back out on the yellow and the black and those guys will be married to the rest of the house phones so once I marry this to the rest of the house phones, it'll have total line seizure. So the dial tone goes from the MTA to the RJ block on these guys. It comes back and feeds any other house phone. Even if you had a jack at the MTA, these would go along with these guys and these guys, this guy, and this guy. Uh, best way to do this is to hook them up one at a time if you're just beanieing all of them together. And if you have a short or some kind of friction or something, you will get that. But just have your, your butt set on it and just touch them one at a time. And if there's a short, it'll stop the dial tone immediately or you'll hear, hear some cracking or something like that. So I'm going to put these guys together and I'll be back. All right, so you can as you can see, I've twisted the blues with the red, the white blues with this green. And this guy here, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to twist the red onto here and the green with the white and blues. And that will put all of the house phones, and I'm assuming that this is an extra line that they ran for whatever reason for another jack somewhere else in the house. But I did previously touch all of them to my yellow and black that's coming from my alarm, the security and it didn't short it out it didn't stop it or do anything so that lets me know that all of the lines should be in good shape so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and marry these two or beanie these two together and then I'll put them with these two guys so give me a second to do that all right now I know that this looks like a lot that's going on guys but do not get discouraged and confused because it's really extremely simple so I'm gonna go over this one more time. So this white wire is the cat five that's coming from the MTA. This is bringing the dial tone out. This brown wire here, you can see that, this brown wire here with the red and blue and the yellow and black, that is the security line. So the dial tone comes out of the MTA, goes on the yellow, I'm sorry, the, the red and the blue, 
to the RJ block, which is located in the security panel in the house, and it brings the dial tone back out on the yellow and black. Now the yellow is going to go to the reds and the the reds and the the uh, the blues. The black is going to go to the the um, the white blues and the greens, and that's it. So when I put my butt set on these two guys here. I'll have dial tone and if somebody was to come out and run another phone line they would just put their phone line on this side the reason why this is separated is because the dial tone goes to the alarm panel first and it comes back out to give the house phones dial tone essentially making it have line seizure now if for whatever reason the the security panel didn't need line seizure and it was just straight dial tone Yes, you could take the dial tone coming from the MTA and just marry um, the dial tone from here, the red, the blue, and put it with these guys and just not have it coming back out on the yellow and black. And it still would work. It just wouldn't have prioritized line seizure for the security panel. It would just be straight, direct. Um, dial tone to the security panel which essentially still would work but it just wouldn't cut the phones off if the alarm was going off and somebody was on the phone or they were sending a fax and it needed to have the dial tone so as you can see all of the house phones are here and the MTA is here and the security is here um, and like I said if there was a phone in there where the MTA is then I would be utilizing these two guys this would be hooked in with these guys and I would just bean them together so this pretty much is it when like I said when I open it up all of this was just jammed in here so I pulled it out cut it all loose separated it and determined what was what once you know where your dial tone is coming from and what color the security line is then it'll make it a lot easier if you don't have security, this line here you wouldn't even worry about. You would just essentially just hook all of the blues with the blues and the white blues with the white blues, the reds with the blues, the greens with the white and blues. That's just pretty much it. And I hope you guys learned something from this video. Let me know if you need or want me to do different videos on uh, other phone techniques. If not, have a nice day.